I love my career as a music radio and sports broadcaster. And it's sport that's really close to my heart. As well as working in sport for my job, I have close friends that are elite athletes and I used to play semi-professional football myself. I understand the pressure to perform and the dedication and resilience required to train twice a day, six days a week, 12 months of the year. But there's a fine balance between training to a top level and training too hard, which can lead to injury. So I'm really interested in this technique where athletes could improve their performance in their sleep. Sounds unbelievable, but it's called lucid dreaming. I'm going to meet black belt martial artist Charlie Morley, a lucid dreamer since the age of 16. So what is lucid dreaming? So tell me about it. So a lucid dream is a dream where you know that you're dreaming as the dream is happening. So you're sound asleep, but in the dream itself you go, aha, this is all a dream. Then once you know you're dreaming, you can start to direct the dream at will. So in fact, you can, you can essentially use time when you think you're doing nothing, you know, sleeping, you can use that time to train yourself to do anything. I've used lucid dreaming to train martial arts in my lucid dreams and then get maybe a little bit better in the waking state. It all sounds very sci-fi, you know, almost like a movie. So it's, I mean, this is far out. This is full on Matrix stuff, you know, like when he goes into the Matrix and downloads Kung Fu into his brain. It's not quite as simple as that. So if I carry on dreaming about being better looking, richer, you know, it might happen in real life. Is that what you're saying? It's going to happen <laughs> in your dreams. <laughs> That's what they all say. <laughs> Jokes aside, practicing sport in a lucid dream might not be a fantasy. Many athletes use mental visualization techniques while they're awake. Why not in sleep? I'm intrigued to speak to one of a team of researchers who've been studying lucid dreaming and its benefits to sports performance. Hi, Melanie. Hi. So do, do you think it's possible to practice sport in your dream? Definitely. <laughs> I know it is. There was a great example of a kickboxer and he had a very complicated sequence of kicks so he induced a lucid dream and then he woke up and he was just able to do the kick without practicing it again physically. Is there evidence from what you know about the brain to support this change? We know from neuroimaging studies that when you perform movements while you're dreaming, in the brain you can actually see that the motor areas are activated that you would also use when you actually physically perform a movement. Dream movements are neural simulations of the actual movements. So what are some of the differences between, you know, training in real life and training in a lucid state? I mean, what's really special about it is you can practice uh, without any fear of injury. So you can do risky movements. Sounds incredible. But what's holding the researchers back? If we had a very reliable induction technique, athletes could use lucid dreaming regularly to practice movements. But uh, you cannot induce uh, lucid dreaming on command. And once you crack that, you've done it, really. <laughs> so could you become a better athlete after waking up from your dreams? Maybe it could become another form of mental visualisation. But that physical training, that will always be required. In the meantime, though, I'm going to keep practising in my lucid dreams. <laughs>